It's all right to be just a little bit crazy. Being creative is being a little bit crazy in just the right vibration. With that in mind, you should understand God's completely insane. Anything inspirational to toss at me? Like if you shit in a bucket. <laughs> I haven't seen I haven't seen any of your stuff. She's spoken so much about you and spoken so highly of you, but I haven't gotten really? around to Yeah, she has. She's said a lot of great things about you before. Well, before when? <laughs> <laughs> Every day since I've ever met her, all she says is talk about this mysterious man who lives in Chicago. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, because, that, because because you know, um one of the last times I saw her, we were <clears throat> we were <laughs> laying out in the grass in the park and Katarina's gonna be in Rrr. and <clears throat> I was like Katarina what would you like me to do and she said Dave hold your nose like this and say I'm an asshole I said okay <laughs> I'm an asshole I'm an asshole I'm an asshole <laughs> I said so now what and she's like that was good and I'm like so why am I'm a, why am I an asshole and she's like because you won't let me get away with anything. <laughs> In other words, I was empowering her and loving her and respecting her when she was in a mode where she wanted to feel justified through self-victimization. And that's what I wasn't letting her get away with. I was just like, I love you and you're awesome. And I'm going to respect whatever you want to do. And, you know, whatever you want to do, I respect that. And that's why she said I wasn't letting her get away with anything. I wasn't giving... Uh, you know, it takes two to tangle. I wasn't dancing. And that is Katerina after having taken a paradigm shit and she forgot her fiber con. Uh oh. She wanted that boxing match. I didn't want to give it to her. I was just like, hey, cool, whatever you want. And, you know. <laughs> That's how I tease the trolls on, on YouTube, too, actually. I got a couple of videos where I'm actually complaining that trolls won't troll me. I'm like, come on, I'm in the YouTube Partners program. I need more visibility. Come on, trolls, make me money. I want you to inflate my checking account. What's your problem? I need the troll love. Come on. You can watch those. It's in there. I mean, you people just blow my mind. I mean, Jesus, where's P-A-T-W? People Against Time Warrior, when you really need them. <clears throat> Donnie Gilson looks at a few star maps and expresses his opinion, and he gets shit-talking trolls and called insane. Now, come on, people. I am at least, at least twice as nuts as Donnie, but am I getting any troll love here? No. I mean, come on, folks, watch my vids. Call me crazy, where's my nut job award? And what makes Donnie so much more worthy of all the comments? Hey trolls, I'm over here! Sheesh, you know, sometimes I just don't get, get due credit where it's deserved, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, Donnie looks at a few star maps, expresses a few feelings, and you know, he's getting all, <clears throat> all the attention, and, and here I am talking about quantum physics and metaphysics and, and manifesting reality through intention, and, and, you know, I could hear the fucking crickets chirp in the troll community here. I mean, <laughs> I mean, really, it's like you guys have some sort of a sexual fetish hard-on for this man or something. It's, I mean, it's crazy. I mean... There's nothing I can say to you, trolls, to get you to call me crazy. I, I try, believe me, I really do. I man, I give it 100%. But my God, it's like it's like you guys just aren't even listening. I mean, like, what the hell is up with you trolls here? I mean, you know, hey, I'll admit it. This is paradigm shift in educational comedy, and as I have said before, um. Money is not a goal. It's a side effect of doing what you love for long enough. So yeah, am I in the YouTube Partners program? Uh-huh. Do I feel that all you trolls can exponentially increase my views? Yeah. But that actually diminishes troll responses and raises the responses of people that are worth 
you know, de your demographic because it more attracts the people who think it's funny. They're thinking, yeah, I got troll problems too, so maybe I should do something like that, and maybe that'll keep the trolls off my ass. <laughs> and the trolls hate it for the same re reason Katarina hated it when I was respecting her, is, you know, I was in that embrace with Katarina, in that embrace with the trolls, saying, come on, trolls. So suddenly I'm no fun now. It's like I don't want to fight. I'm saying, come on, give me a hug, and it's like, wait, you don't want to fight? I, I can't get off on being intimidating and get a rise out of you. Uh, you're no fun. You become a dry well. So then all you res you attract are the people who are like, wow, that was cool what you just did. And then that <laughs> builds your demographic. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> Money isn't good or evil, it's just energy. It's all what you do with it. And right. it's, it's like that old saying goes, uh, what Jesus said, um, you know, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach him how to fish, and he'll never go hungry again. Well, that's the same thing, and that's what I've noticed Empower Network does. Empower Network doesn't just dole money to people. They, they offer resources and the means for someone to uplift themselves. And they're just like, hey, if that's what you're into, cool. You know, we'll welcome you in, but if you just want to be on the dole and take and take and take and not do your part in anything... Because, you know, doing their part, it isn't doing their part for you. It's doing their part for them to become right. a sovereign individual. Because sovereign individuals can only co-create with sovereign individuals. Right. It's it's power. Like, <laughs> yeah. People are like, I don't want to deal with anybody. They're backstabbers and whatever. No, they're just immature. Just like you wouldn't have, you know, a, a bunch of kindergartners re rebuild the World Trade Center because you just have a bunch of little kids getting hurt on power tools. It's the same thing. A sovereign individual can only co-create with another sovereign individual. If a sovereign individual tries to co-create with someone who isn't a sovereign individual, then it's like, you know, getting kindergartners to try to rebuild the World Trade Center. It's going to end up in disaster. Those kindergartners may one day grow <laughs> up to be the adult construction workers mm -hmm. to then be able to rebuild that safely. But if you try to do it when they're kindergartners, you're just going to have a lot of little kids getting hurt on industrial equipment. So it's the same thing. <laughs> That's that would be the equivalent metaphor to they're not ready yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, I love using crazy fucking metaphors that really make people think. Because you know, if I keep it like simple, like really simple, it just goes in one ear and out the other. People You're absolutely are, right, though. Oh, no, I, I'm seeing little kindergartners run around with power tools, drilling each other, <laughs> and exactly. having a. <laughs> like, like you know, you know the quantum and physics and metaphysics. Like what you put out is what you get back, and the whole energy construct with that. I have a, a, a simple but crazy saying for that that gets people's attention. It's neither metaphysical nor quantum physical. I like to say this. If you have, if you shit in a bucket, you're going to have a bucket of shit. So if you don't want a bucket of shit, stop shitting in the bucket. And if you do happen to shit in the bucket, don't blame the bucket. <laughs> so we all do that, don't we? We do. We shit in the fucking bucket, and then it's like, oh, man, I got a bucket of shit. I'm so depressed now. And, and <laughs> the bucket's all. And it's the fault of whoever put the bucket there. It's the fault of the bucket manufacturers. It's the fault of God for allowing buckets to be created. So we blame anything and everything else. We Except don't take responsibility ourselves. for our own choice. Well said. I'm, I am not shitting in buckets anymore. <laughs> well, if you, if, if you do, then see, uh, see opportunity instead of burden, dig a hole and mulch the shit. It's good for flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. No, I'm just, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, I just think the funny part was that I was, like, being so hard on myself this morning about stuff that I was, like, drawing conclusions about, and I think people can really relate to that. They start creating these stories, these huge illusions for themselves, and they are just, like, spend their time totally entrenched in this self-victimization bubble. Delete, uncreate, and destory. Yeah, exactly. It's very simple, like, with what... It's not simple, I mean, it's, it's, it's all about what you're perceiving it as being simpler. It's what you believe to be the most real reality. Exactly. Why don't you explain what I explained to you about that this morning? It, it sounds better from you. Yeah. 
because I had been believing that, you know, it had to be the end of the world, and, you know, like, I was just, did not even want to bring the covers off of my head. I mean, I think that's the really important thing for people to see, is that, you know, no matter how they're perceiving us out there, these people who are inspirational, motivational, whatever, we still have our days, too. Yeah. They either see us as, oh my god, really awesome uber geniuses, or, oh my god, eerie fairy weirdos, get the hell away from them, they're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I shot the video where I was just sick and tired of bullshit, and it was just, I'm just so angry, I just couldn't even, like, write or do nothing, I just needed to just grab the camera and be like, listen, <laughs> and just, I just went at it, but, um, <laughs> that's basically what happened, so here, I'm going to share my, my results with you right now to just show you what just happened to YouTube, it just went, oh, absolutely psycho, right, look at, look at what just happened, it just went from nothing, three minutes, nine minutes, zero minutes, ten minutes, two minutes, to whoosh, <laughs> 17 <laughs> hours and two minutes <laughs> just from being just crazy actually, on the camera just from being crazy on the camera people just wanted to watch this my next you know what's really funny is my friend dave kelso he, i know he's watching the hangout right now because he's talking to me on facebook mm -hmm. but that's exactly what he's sharing with me is that like he that's why he's so irreverent like he has a youtube channel called paradigm shift and educational comedy I mean if you haven't seen it go check it out because it's pretty funny but <laughs> <laughs> like um, his his channel is just so irreverent and he is swearing and he mean he's he's even like the funny thing is he's just not afraid to be so crazy and irreverent even in a circle of people who are super spiritual I mean so he faces a whole bunch of flack and shit from people but there's a reason he has like a million views New Age, I've noticed a massive move toward this New Age, I love myself bullshit on Facebook. I've been complaining, I've been kicking people's ass. New Age is BS, New Age is BS. This it's New Age wannabe fucking intelligent wise uh, lighty light people is just bullshit. Donnie and I have talked about this before, we may have different opinions on it, but these New Age people oh, are complete cool, idiots. Huh? They're hey, you know what? Any 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 meta any metaphysician or, or channel or anybody worth their freaking salt will tell you that this new age crap is a trap. It's an they're just idiots. They're complete trap. idiots. Yeah, it's like Captain Akbar said, it's a trap, man, because you gotta deal with your demons and face your shit. There's no other way around it. Alright? So on the real spiritual path. Love and light is not going to work. In fact, it works the opposite. If you noticed on your Facebook, look on your Facebook page. Have you noticed all I love myself posters? I love myself, fuck everybody else, just hug myself and what everybody else thinks can just go to hell. And have you noticed this lately, this, 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 yes. in, this massive influx of New Age uh, yeah, that's, love yourself shit? That's a yeah, it's creating perception. a wonderful world, isn't it? It's yeah, just, yeah, it's just, it scares me. I told people this is dangerous, and they they attack me. I had one lady put up all these, I love, oh, I love, I'm in love with love, I'm love, love is lovey, lovey, love, and I said, well, you know, this is, this is New Age stuff, and it doesn't have any yeah. basis in fact. There's nothing underneath it. And she said, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I and I said, and I, I said, you, you fucking and asshole. I said, fuck fuck you. you. And I said, oh, you're so lovey-dovey, and you understand love so much. I'll be following you for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know, and they'll all curse you out. If you if you attack them or approach oh, yeah. them in heartbeat. any way whatsoever, they will attack they you, will and attack they'll you. get on you. you know. Well, if they think fucking and making love is synonyms, maybe you were being propositioned. The most loving <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what it sounds to me like. But I say... You know, I'm not going to get off on a Christian thing tonight because I know we're not talking about that. But I say all these New Age people are going to be the ones, and I've told Donnie this, that are cuffing us up, taking us to the meat machine. Oh, I it's would going to be all these dumb little stupid uh, New Age people who know nothing about nothing. They're yeah, going well, to be cuffing all the rest of the people up, taking them yeah. to the, the, the meat machine, the meat grinder. Yeah, well, the problem is it's a quantum physics fact that what you resist persists, and the New Age BS 
teaches you to avoid your demons instead of facing them. Yes. They're, they're saying yes. if, you, if you avoid them, you're not giving them power. It's bullshit. It works the opposite way. Okay, hey, guys. Exactly. I, want, I, I, I want... You know, it's because he has this crazy, irreverent humor and just he's like psycho on camera. But, I mean, he's, he's so entertaining to watch and listen to. And that's why. And... That's kind of clicking for me right now. Like that's why people actually want to view things. <laughs> it's because it's so ridiculous, right? It is. It is. We got to do the crazy. But when you know that they're human too, and they're still going through their processes too. Like for me, you know, being in tears, I'm just like ah. So let me ask you, seeing as you were surrounded by an equal amount of permission slips to go on the more uplifting crossroads, but you chose the self-victimization route for a little while there until the, the phone call when you shifted, and right when you shifted, the phone rang, and there we go, and here's a video. Um, why do you feel that you were completely dismissing the, um, the, the equally valid, um, you know, more uplifting stuff and aligning with the, uh, not so uplifting stuff, which is of course equally valid to the uplifting stuff. It's a fork in the road. What do you think motivated you to go down one and not the other? Um, it's all about. I mean, you've said before that's all about like what we're expecting and what we're believing is true and possible and and real. Like for me, envisioning like the worst case scenario was like the most real thing for me. Because that's what I'm used to, you know. I, I don't necessarily come from like a ha ah, love wonderful bunnies and kittens background. Like I've had those struggles, you know. Like it's yeah. been hard for me to be able to give myself permission for myself to not have things be so hard. Whereas some people just stay in self victimization from cradle to grave. Well, and that's what I was illustrating here, you know. Like here, I was just like, oh. Oh, you know, like, doing the whole victim thing this morning, and it's, the funny thing is when you're watching yourself do it, you know that this is not exactly what you want to be doing, but we are so conditioned and, and patterned, like, entrenched, entrenched yeah. in our habits. And, and then when you're so entrenched, what happens when friends try to give you support? You just want to be like, fuck you, you know? Like, that's, exactly, that's exactly how you were with me this morning, go figure. And then what did I do? I love you. And I hugged you and cuddled you and then you said, Fuck you, Dan. I have two words for you. Fuck you. I just tried to do a fuck you dance. Predator drones. Yeah, basically. But that's what we do. <laughs> that's what we do. Like, and I know that that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. But when you're watching yourself do it, it's almost like a train wreck that you're just like not being able to stop because... I'm so busy judging the fact that I'm doing it and wanting to stop and wanting to pull back this, you know, like, thousand ton train, you know, yeah. like, you can't. And I just had to collapse and just, like, let it all yeah. go and just, like, you know, start crying and doing whatever I needed to do. And that's, yeah. that's what I'm trying to say is the important part is that we do allow ourselves to have those yeah. feelings of rage. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. I am Darth Powder. <laughs> Inside joke, me and Katarina. She showed me the movie Powder, and I got like this bald freaking head, and the lighting in the room, and the way she took this one picture, and she's like, "Well, you're looking like Powder," and I had this hoodie thing on, and I'm like, "I am Darth Powder." <laughs> it's creepy as shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll show you the picture sometime. Anger and frustration yeah. and all of that. Because if you allow yourself, then you don't have to go through all that dramatics. It, it goes from an emotional charge to just your right to an opinion. Like uh, Gangaji said on uh, this video here that uh, we happen to have paused, um, she said that pain's okay. Suffering comes from that negative feedback loop where we're running from what we're judging as negative or running away from that so it's the the measurement of that illusion of distance and ahead of us we're chasing our dreams and that if you you know meet your fear where it's at you bust the illusion and if you meet your dreams where they're at 
you see that they are real. You can manifest that. It's just it might require some processes that um, you've been trained to think are impossible for you. Oh no, only a super genius can do that, or you have to have this much money to do that, or oh, if I go and do this, it's going to be uncomfortable, I'm not going to like it, or whatever. Because we're addicted to our comfort zones, and our comfort zone is misery. We're like addicted little freaking drug addicts hooked on our hooked on our stress hormones, you know? It's pumping out of our hypothalamus, giving our bloodstream our fix. So when we say people are addicted to drama, it's literal. And we, the funny thing <laughs> is that it's not like Dave and I are sitting there on our cloud being like, Oh, you know, you people are addicted to your stress and drama. You know, we are too. Yeah, I mean the point is that there is a lot of emotion and rage and anger that comes up, whether it's being physically expressed or, you know, verbally expressed or whatever. I mean, it's all stemming back to the same thing as this addiction to our, our, our stress hormones. Addiction to the stress hormones. Hormones. Oh. <laughs> Let's think about Aladdin and the sexual genie. <laughs> okay, let's not. That's a little creepy. Well, if you want to be enlightened, just lighten up. <laughs> so don't worry, people. We're just as neurotic as the rest of you. We're just brave enough to come to terms with it. <laughs> That's why I call it paradigm shitting. <laughs> Get out the Fibercon. You've got a lot of clearing to do. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. In this video, me and Katarina were having an interesting moment where she was feeling a bit victimized about stuff, and then suddenly she decided to shift into a bit more of a uplifting mode, and instantaneously, her phone rang, and the conversation which took place is um, very interesting, and we recorded a part of it because Katarina, Katarina was saying such inspirational stuff. I was just like, we got to get it on video. And when she first started, I was thinking, wow, you know, I should have been video recording from, from the get-go, but I don't want to interrupt your call. Then her phone just like screws up synchronistically. SIM card not found when the SIM card's there, which gave me the opportunity to mention the video thing. And being a tech, Why I was just, just like, like, well... Things? Why don't like you why, why don't you pop out the SIM card and pop it back in? And she did that and then it worked and then I was rolling the video and then everything was good. Well, if I'm aiming this properly, 
it's showing me talking to you. Inst oh, instead of, instead of just like, <laughs> it's showing me talking to you, having a conversation, if I'm aiming it right. That's why. I see. So you gotta get playful and silly in these videos. No! <laughs> Needless to say, we're gonna start our phone call now. So it's Ganga G approved. I'm kidding, she didn't say shit. So yeah, here we go.